Today we're looking at whitefly. The way to spot whitefly is to uh, turn over the leaves, give the plant a tap, um, and this little white moth, which is about two or three or four millimetres long, will fly off. They tend to congregate around the top of the plant. The damage happens when the scales, which are the uh, developing white fly, which uh, are on the underside of the leaf, um, suck sap out of the uh, tomato plant and deposit it on the lower leaves. Um, so this sticky honeydew turns into a black sooty mould which wrecks your plant. The way we control white fly is to use a parasitic wasp. The parasitic wasp lays its eggs inside the white fly scale. Um, the scale is the immature white fly. It's almost like a chrysalis um, of a butterfly. The parasites have got the ability to lay eggs in about 250 white fly scales, so they're quite an effective predator when they get going, um, and they can breed up faster than the white fly can lay eggs and form scales. This is the card with the incarcia on it. Uh, you can see the black scales in the middle in that circle. Um, the scales hatch out into uh, parasites that uh, look for the white fly scales and infect the white fly scales. It's very important when you get this to put the date on it so that you know which cards are old and which cards are new. We put uh, cards out every week as more of a prevention rather than a cure. We put these cards out of the sun and out of any water or drips or things like that which might damage the scales. Um, these are my tomato plants. Um, the sun generally uh, that way is south, so we'll be putting them um, facing the, the parasites facing north. Um, and you put them halfway down the plant, which means that they're definitely in the shade and out of the way of um, any water, any uh, sunlight, um, because the sunlight will dry them out and then they won't work. 